Hey guys, what is up? My name, as always, is Obtain Baton 7, and today I'm going to be doing part 3 of my Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare review. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the uh, game modes of Plants vs. Zombies. Now, uh, I will admit I was a little bit disappointed when I got the game because there was only three if you count the welcome mat. It's four. Um, but what you can see right here is I'm playing uh, Garden Ops, which is basically the zombie survival one. Um, I kind of like the way they did it. I mean, it's only in ten waves. I wish it was just like a how long you can survive thing. Um, but as you can see, I'm playing as the Fire Flower again because I love playing with that on videos. But um, as you can see, I'm fighting a boss right now. That's the Disco Zombie. There's a bunch of various bosses and stuff like that. Um, they all have something special about them. The Disco Zombie has some really OP attacks that I hate. Um, right now, I'm shooting a Tombstone. Um, that's It's not really even a boss, just something that spawns a ton of zombies um, of different types, uh, depending on what uh, the the Tombstone is spawning. And so, uh, but, so this is called Garden Ops. And there's 10 waves, and you're defending uh, this garden that I have walked past a few times. Um, you can see garden health at the top, so we've barely lost any. Um, but I'm fighting another Disco Zombie, and if your garden dies, then you lose the game. Um, if, your if your garden gets destroyed, I'll say, then you lose the game. Um, so, yeah. So, the garden... If the garden... Right there. Um, as you can see, it's the Scarecrow on top of all the bags of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's really all in Garden Ops. I mean, there's a little bit more you can do with it and stuff. Um, but anyway, so, uh, next is the Welcome Mat. I'll, I guess that's a game mode. Um, basically, it's just, uh, Team Vanquish on easy, and, uh, you aren't allowed to, uh, use any of your upgrades, which means you can't use new characters. Like, you can't, you couldn't use the Fire Flower or the Toxic Pea Shooter. You have to use just the Basic Four and the Basic Four on the Zombies. Um, but, uh, there really isn't much to welcome, Matt. It's just something that you play until you get kind of used to the game. And then, uh, uh, the, the other, uh, main or there's actually three now since the update. But the other one, uh, the one that I like the most called Gardens and Graveyard, it's basically capture the flag, but uh, it's more like King of the Hill, and the zombies are always on the attacking team. Um, I actually talked about that in another one of my videos. That's been the gameplay for the past uh, two parts of this review. So you can see me uh, talking about, or capturing the different points and stuff like that. So... Yeah, that's a that's a really fun game mode. You get a ton of gold from it, especially if you play as engineer and make teleporters. You get ten coins every time someone goes through the teleporter, and teleporters are used a lot. Um, and then the third one is Team Vanquish. Actually, yeah, there's four. So third one's Team Vanquish. That's just welcome mat, but you can use uh, upgraded characters and stuff like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's basically just like Team Deathmatch from Call of Duty or anything, uh, any other shooter like that. Or in Titanfall's case, Attrition. Um, and then the fourth one is called Gnome Bomb. I haven't played very much of Gnome Bomb. It's just kind of like a, uh, a hot potato kind of thing. I mean, it's really weird. You basically just, um, there's a bomb and you capture it and try to put it in another team's base. So it'll blow up their base. So, yeah, like I said, it's a lot like Hot Potato. <laughs> it's a video game version of Hot Potato. And then uh, there's one that combines uh, Team Vanquish and Gardens and Graveyards. I actually haven't played it yet, but I'm just I'm assuming that it just alternates between the two different game modes. Um, correct me on that in the comments if, if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what... Uh, that's what I've heard is that it's just it alternates between the two every every other game. So um, overall, I was kind of disappointed when it came out because all it had was Garden Ops, Welcome Mat, Team Vanquish, and Garden Graveyards. Although this isn't a full price game, it's only twenty. It's only forty dollars, not twenty. So it's considered an arcade game. But I really wish they would add some more, like capture the flag stuff like that. Anyway, guys, that'll have to do it for this video. I'll probably be releasing one more part on this, and then I'll be done with it, and then I'll start my Force of Five, which will be going up sometime Thursday or Friday. Anyway, um, please slap that like button and subscribe to this channel. It'll help me out a lot. It doesn't cost you anything. You're just going to be getting a bunch of awesome content. Anyway, guys, my name is Obtain Baton 7 Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.